Before we dive into today's section, we'll be introducing a guest or two guests who are gaming enthusiasts to shed more light on the topic on the issue of parents accepting and condemning gaming in Africa. This video is sponsored by Kaftan TV. To watch the full video on their page, click the link in the description down below. I guess who goes by good news, good news, and Dami. Dami. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. So, just before we just dive into this topic, I know we've been hearing about the news about like, I mean, parents will always be like, I'm, I'm sure that when you were young, mm -hmm. you would have surely heard that, okay, your parents would be like, stop playing games, read your book, I mean, go to school and forget about this. That probably what they thought was that all this gaming would just wear off. Like, I don't know, what, what do you have to say to that? Um, yes, that's true. Um, in the African home, usually the typical African home, you know, there's this um, discouragement when it comes to gaming. In the aspect of the child is not serious enough but in the home i grew i grew up in a kind of home where there was this reward mechanism so if you did well if you performed well you know you'll be given what you wanted so from you know from right from when i was a kid and i did well in school my parents had like whatever i wanted i could get which is rare in most african homes which you get but at the end of the day funny thing happened i had um an uncle of mine that came over you know was staying over for a while and he gave us i and my brother an, an assignment and when he came back when he returned we we're still playing the game, the game and um we failed to do the assignments so the first thing he did was take the the ps we had that was like the early one and he broke it immediately the pads it broke everything and threw them out that's a major cancellation like Guy, it was painful i said that was my first outbreak uh... <laughs> Yeah. He's a bloody chop breakfast is very not small. <laughs> That's serious. But what can you also say about video game? I mean, you must surely have some experience about that now. Video game actually is fun, you know, just when it's your time. I mean, it always becomes boring sometimes during the holiday period. Everything that keeps us busy. But when parents feel that okay, we won't we won't be able to do work that's assigned to us, maybe we still slash again from school activities, assignments, homeworks. So that will just give a very bad view of game to them but you know there are actually some people that they don't it's not like i see the assignment is a problem we have some young chaps who are very intellectually sound but their parents just don't want anything about gaming like once they see anything video games like this they they condemn them like i for one i had a friend who like i mean his parents were academicians but ever since and i think the last time we met was like i think maybe like seven years ago when I met him just to fast forward and I was like ah it's been long since I've seen you like and I had like this tournament going on and I was like okay you should just come up with it but all of a sudden I it could he was just trying to even just know how to handle a pad like and the guy is actually he's a very brilliant guy like he's a young chap that is actually if you see him I mean he's intellectually sound he knows how to talk to people he, I mean he knows how to rapport well so I don't know in a situation like that what do you feel can be done like do you feel like do you I mean they don't seem balanced to me okay. to me but I, I don't know about your own opinions like to me a child can perform when he studies and still be playing games from morning to night even the day to his exam self you still see some people still play games well i think the problem is that the the idea that african parents have about game is actually poor you know they all see that waste of time and erodes their children's brain you understand so they don't actually approve child can actually learn something from games that he plays you understand he may even want to develop his own game and see okay he wants to make his own game company that's how it even starts that's how people create their own game company so all those kind of things, I just feel that maybe not, uh, African parents in general should give a more, uh, you know, more good view about games. You should have an you open mind. Open mind about games and their children in general. You understand? But what I won't uh, understand is when, you know, that sometimes that the students may never perform when well the study itself and yes. they playing game. They just like you said, they may just okay that kind of test or do you just bring the score and see that the score is low, do not blame it to the game. Yes, yeah, exactly. I do, they, they, they do that a lot. So do just, I just feel that it's actually very, very bad to me. Very bad. I feel like they, you feel like you feel like they should just go straight and hit the how do they say that? How do they say that um, in the nail on the, head. The, nail on the yeah. head rather than just beating around yeah. the bush. 
do not fully blame on the game and that's not actually no okay, but what do you feel about that what, what's your opinion about that uh, i go with them well the thing is uh the guy in society our african parents grew in was not really a you know technologically driven society okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. compared to our western counterparts yeah. like um now compared to like now within like this our generation where everything is technological do you get and there's provision of technology here and there and, and it's always advancing by the minute and it's advancing and we are saying that okay like you said gaming actually brings opportunities like you could form your own company take for example you know ksi ksi yeah, is okay. a very popular um gaming enthu enthusiast yeah. yeah and that's how he became uh should i say millionaire yeah. in the uk you know things like that do happen and yes gaming can be just like distracting for the child yeah do you understand supervision is needed but at the same time it doesn't mean you know it, sh it shouldn't be discouraged in the african home shouldn't be i think it should it's something that should be embraced like you said the child can learn one or two things from you know gaming and scientists actually confirm that um playing uh, arcade games action games actually helps the mental faculties of the child so yes mm -hmm. I, I i feel like as time goes on you know there'll be a change i think it's more relaxed now yeah. so i guess you've heard it all from them that playing video games can actually increase the cognitive processes of children and parents should reduce the way they are so strict upon the concept of gaming before we actually go for a break here is just like a short tip of what i might be asking you in your own opinion do you feel middle-aged bodies and parents should be comfortable accepting video games as a lucrative activity rather than just a hobby and me to me, technology is moving fast. Technology is moving fast. It's not like before that. Okay, they have their even before then. That, that time there was Game Boy, and I think there was Game Boy that time. Yeah, so Nintendo, Atari. Yeah, so you can't stop it. You know, it's actually like, we're moving to a technological age. You understand? So and that's the only way children nowadays used to keep their boredom and you know have their own phone. And you know, sometimes me place a call on your guys that like, okay, please come over. You have to be food, you throw a party, you like, okay, let's play games. Yeah. You understand? Know, it's also a way of meeting friends, you know, so hanging out. So. Yeah. Concerning the part of lucrative, like lucrativeness, and the fact of, okay, people use this to actually get money. I mean, we've been hearing about here this that acquire yeah. millions of money because of, I mean, in PUBG, in Call of Duty, in um, Free Fire. I mean, Call of Duty Fortnite. Mobile, Call of Duty, yes, Fortnite. I mean, all these battle royales now, they've been really hot lately. So, what do you feel? Do you feel like, I mean, they should like middle aged bodies, like middle, I mean, parents should like encourage the concept of gaming because of how lucrative it is? Yes, definitely, they should. And I feel like we have a part to play in terms of bringing awareness to them. Like an example I just cited for KSI. Now, okay, the truth is, Gaming starts majorly as A or B. From there, it could also be very lucrative. Like for example, you have, and you know about, we all know about the NFTs yeah. now. Um, in games like Fortnite, there's this uh, speculation that very soon, the way the producers of games like Fortnite and bigger games, um, they would reward the best and the best of their gamers with NFT collections that are worth millions mm. of dollars. Yeah. So gaming actually can be very lucrative. Although, like I said, it starts out as a hobby, majorly amongst the male and also the female too. I mean, yeah. we've been seeing them play Candy Crush. I mean, that's a video Candy game Crush. now. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, yes. we can't call that. I mean, yes. they are playing it through the, through the, I mean, through their screens. So it's something that we yes, can't call a video Candy game. Crush. Yeah, guys to play Candy Crush, I but Candy I mean, Crush. it's really among the female demographic, but yes, yes, uh, yes. so I feel like everybody is a general, yes, game. video gaming is general, so um, the second question I'd like to ask is that, do you feel that the advantage, disadvantages of video gaming in the society, or are you in support of middle-aged Africans or Nigerians, because now Nigeria with this, so <laughs> are you in support of, okay, all these middle-aged Nigerians, um, in general, curbing gaming in the society, like putting a halt to gaming in the society. There's, there's actually a disadvantage in gaming, you understand, particularly in the gaming house. You know, they do what they call gambling. They sometimes they may gamble for a game, 
you understand how stick goes on, you understand we have its own disadvantages. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry to sorry yeah. sorry to cut you there, but I, I mean for the gambling, do you, some people see it as cruise. No, what no, kind? And for the middle age people, they see it as a a crime. You know, gambling is never it's not actually. If you tell you are gambling, it's actually like you know as we are doing something like that. You understand? They, they, are, they are actually safe gambling. That okay, me and you can just okay gamble for a game, but gambling too can actually serve as a disadvantage because people may just you cannot tell a guy that wants this game what or he or she cannot do with this game you understand he can use it as, as his own business you understand so that's i think that's a disadvantage okay but uh, are you are you sure that's all i'm i'm, I'm, I'm sure to me that's that's the only disadvantage of gaming oh all right but what, what do you feel about that as well um the thing is see we all know Technology has its advantages and its advantages, and gaming is one of them. Gaming definitely has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. And um, like you said, can the African parents do things to curb? I think that's the question, right? Mm -hmm. To curb um, gaming, yes. excessive gaming. Uh, I feel like, especially for the younger ones, like kids in maybe school, primary, secondary school. Yes, there should be adequate supervision towards you know there should be it should be restrictive for them because gaming can be addictive yeah. gaming mm -hmm. can be time consuming also very very time consuming as lucrative as it is do you understand so i think supervision is necessary so we have to bring in that awareness to them also we have to be good examples we gamers out there we have to like be good examples for them to show that okay yes although he has this effect he has the side yeah. effect for you know, at the end, of, we can. It has its advantages, yeah. and we also ourselves we can exercise self control. So you all have heard it from their mouths that video gaming, even if it can be extremely interesting and very lucrative, that it still has its bad parts, meaning that it can be addictive. And it is our job as gamers or as upcoming gamers to be able to exercise self-restraint. We'll be coming back with more questions, but we have to go after a short break. Do not go anywhere and please stay with us.